Hey everybody! I wanted to start by showing you this piece, which is dry. Um, it's very unusual to see one of my paintings that is not white, but it is, I like it. It's very pretty. I'm happy with it. I don't think I'll do any more with that color background, just because it just doesn't feel right, but it is pretty. Um, and today, for this video, this is one that you've seen me do. It's just a black negative space string pull. And I wasn't even going to film it because the string pulls don't really change. They are, you know, pretty much the same. Um, at least the ones that I'm wanting to do. But I want to do this one on the round for my art show because I want a whole section um, that is just black and white art. So I'm doing this specifically for that. But I figured, you know, if I'm down here painting, I may as well talk to you guys. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. And I mixed up... Oh gosh, I wonder if I'll have enough. This is all I mixed up for black. I did it really, um, I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's uh, Liquitex Basic Ivory Black and Iridescent Medium, which makes it a lot brighter, you can tell. And I used a, a lot of Iridescent Medium. And then um, Floetrol and water. And uh, yeah, I probably didn't need this much um, iridescent medium. So I'm gonna try and smooth it out here. But it means if, I'm, if I don't like this, I have to just wipe it and can't restart because I don't have any more paint. Um, so today I'm even more emotional than I was in my video yesterday because tomorrow is my last day of work and my coworkers are the best things ever. And I'm sure my new ones will be as well, but it's going to be hard. Not seeing their faces every morning. So yeah, so I am your emotional art instructor tonight. Oh gosh, I can see huh, all the, the iridescent. Well, maybe it's just different thicknesses. I was gonna say, I can see a lot of flaws, but I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. And you can probably see me right now reflected. I can see myself. Can you see you? But my mom got me all worked up today about what food am I serving at my art opening. And I did not want to think about that today. <laughs> so I'm like, Mom, why, why, why does she, you know, I guess she's a, you know, moms, that's what we do. We worry our children. <laughs> but sister-in-law does catering and I have a friend who's going to help me um, uh, make it all look good. <laughs> I am not good at that. So I was telling people today at work, you know, I can throw a birthday party. I can throw a bar mitzvah. I can throw a graduation party. But it's all like bright colors and balloons and not like serious classy. And I kind of want this to be more classy. I do not think I like all this iridescent medium. But... Too late to change that. Well, I mean, it's not. 
I guess I'll see how it looks when it's dry and then put it by ear. It can always be painted over. And I was hoping my guy would get my MDF cut by tomorrow because because I told him it was my last day, but I don't think it is because he has not asked me for money. <laughs> so. Oh, and I want to thank those of you who have um, donated on PayPal to my channel. It is a huge, um, just means a lot to me when you do, um, and it helps a lot, obviously, so I can keep buying materials. So I'm using this twine. It's this that I've been using, but that has three strings in it, and I... I'm only using one because I want more delicate lines. So just got one going. And I need something to press this in. So I'm just dipping it like I have. I mean, those of you who have seen me do this, I mean, it's, you know what I'm going to do. Ah, crud. Um, well, oh shit. Oops. Didn't mean that. I would never cuss. Cussing's bad. Ugh. Now I picked up crud. What the heck? Alright. Just lay it down, Anne. So the black is um, too thick. And I don't like the iridescent medium. I am going to turn you off and scrape this off into a cup and um, make new black. So I will get back to you. Hey everybody, I am back and I mixed up new black and already poured it on and I tried to scrape off that other black into the cup and like I think I got maybe an ounce or two. Um, but I really tried and I darkened it but um, you can still see the iridescent medium which means I <laughs> really put in a lot of iridescent medium. But hopefully it is a lot thinner because that was the main reason I um, did that. It's because it was um, too thick. So let's try this again. I am dipping the string. Ah, better. Kind of swirly at the end. I actually think I like the look of the thicker twine. So I am going to switch to that. And see if I can't redo that one. I don't know if it will work that way. But I realized that. Okay, I need more white. I'm 
really wants to unravel itself. It wants to be in threes. There we go. <laughs> kind of left that weird thing from the old one. I'm okay with that. have um, the queen stuck in my head because I was watching queen videos. I was on YouTube for art stuff and then switched to, you know, because then it's like, oh, YouTube recommends this video for you. And um, so then I started watching queen videos and um, uh, his last, Freddie Mercury's last two videos, and, and, uh, so now I just can't, I can't get the music out of my head. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad music to have, it's just constant in my head. <laughs> able to get that out without much damage. And so I do want to tilt a little. The black is still thicker than I think it should have been. I actually kind of, I'm going to try without Got it going. can't help but swirl it. It's a hummingbird now. That looks like a nesting bird of some type. This is not turning out well for me. And I think it's because I am so distracted by my brain. But since I do everything with honesty here, 
I will still be airing this. Um, and yeah, this isn't working for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still going to air it because um, there's no reason for any of us to be ashamed of our off days. And sometimes, like me, you have two off days in a row. And that is okay. And I know you're here for the art, but um, you can find inspiration and motivation everywhere. And that is mine to you today is that um, some days you just don't have it, and some days it is okay to quit for now. So, you know, I always say never quit, but it is okay to quit for right now tonight. Tomorrow, I will pick it right back up. But tonight, I think calls for hot tea and my doggy and the couch and some Netflix. <laughs> I think that is what I need right now. And it is important that we listen to ourselves when we need something. So there, there's my Dr. Osborne for you. And I will catch you next time. Bye. Hey, I am back. I actually did not go upstairs and watch Netflix. I decided I'm really stubborn. So I may have I may have said, you know, it's okay to quit, take a break, but I I am stubborn. <laughs> so I have been persisting. And uh so far I've come up with this after lots and lots of things. And I'm not 100% on this, but I stopped and decided I was going to let it dry because it looks like under the earth, like all of those are either um, roots or little ant trails or something and then scorching out of the earth. Um, and it is in black, so it could be a little macabre, <laughs> but... Um, I thought it was interesting enough to let it dry because then I thought maybe I will just completely make that side look um, black, but then it looks too much like the black and white cookie thing, you know, so I'm sticking with this for now and as usual, catch you later. Bye.